fathomevents.com. Hi there, everybody. Happy holidays from all of us here at TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Katherine Hepburn is remembered as perhaps the greatest movie actress of her era. Hepburn's four Best Actress Oscars remain a Hollywood record. Daniel Day-Lewis has three Best Actor Academy Awards on the men's side. Coming up next, we have Hepburn in one of her most popular roles from 1940. It's the Philadelphia Story. We celebrate Hepburn unabashedly today, but there was a time when her film career was in legitimate jeopardy. Just a couple of years before the Philadelphia story, Hepburn's name appeared on a now infamous list. An ad ran in the Hollywood Reporter listing several stars that some theater owners determined were box office poison, and Katherine Hepburn was on that list. If her name was on the marquee, these short-sighted theater owners insisted, audiences would stay away. After learning her name was on the list and dealing with the ensuing publicity, Hepburn left town. She headed to Broadway, performing in a play, The Philadelphia Story, a comedy about a wealthy heiress played by Hepburn. Then on the eve of her wedding, the heiress's ex-husband shows up with a tabloid reporter and photographer. The play became a huge Broadway hit, so big that Hollywood came calling. They wanted to turn it into a movie. But Hepburn owned the rights to the play, and she insisted on doing the film her way. She handpicked her co-stars, Cary Grant and Jimmy Stewart. She picked the director, George Cukor, and together they made a terrific film that became as big a hit in theaters as it was on the stage. For the record, Katherine Hepburn was box office poison no more. From MGM in 1940, The Philadelphia Story. <laughs>